Hey, good evening, everybody. Texas Red Lake here. <clears throat> Sorry I'm putting out this video so late, but had a real busy day today uh, with some uh, business and just now getting around to getting it done. So, apologies for that. Uh, I want to take a minute to let everybody know that I do appreciate you uh, subscribing to my channel, watching my videos, and commenting and uh, interacting. I think that's huge and uh, I really enjoy it. And like I said, I apologize for being so late tonight, but um, I just couldn't get here sooner. So what I want to talk about today is the, the subject of fuel. So everybody understands the situation here in Texas um, with the weather and the power loss. <clears throat> it has somewhat of a domino effect to other types of uh, <clears throat> commodities or industries, you might even say. So <clears throat> here in my area, I'm sure it's like this around the state, um, the stations are either low or completely out of fuel. <clears throat> I would say... About 80% of the stations that I stopped at today, and I was almost, I was over half full but um, by the time I shut it down tonight, but I would say 80% of the places that I stopped had only premium, you know, gas or diesel or completely out altogether. So, um... You know, I usually buy the cheap stuff, so being that I was only, you know, just over half a tank, I went ahead and topped it off with that premium stuff. It was too late, and I was tired of messing around, so I was lucky to find it, actually. But uh, I had two empty gas cans, so I went home and went back up there and filled those up, too. And uh, so I got 10 extra gallons, because I don't know how long it's going to take them to straighten this thing out. And I already have some other fuel um, <clears throat> that I had used up to get those two empty cans. So I kind of rotated it out and, and went ahead and refilled them tonight. It sucks. Excuse me. It sucks that it was a uh, premium fuel and had to pay so much for it. But nevertheless, it's fuel. So I... Uh, we just be careful with all that, you know, and it's not a, it's not a supply problem. It's a logistics problem, just like it was during that gas crunch a few years ago. Um, it's icy and snow packed roads are causing the fuel delivery trucks or tankers to be extremely delayed and resupply in those bulk tanks in the ground. There's underground storage tanks. <clears throat> um, so only premium or uh, diesel pretty much is all that's what you're left with and uh, stopped at one Walmart and even all the premium was gone too so that was pretty crazy um, and it's another reason why I and so many others tell people to fill those tanks up almost all the time we, we harp on it we probably sound like broken records but this is one of the reasons why, because you don't never know when it's gonna dry up, and uh, you know, stay, and sticking with my plan of no less than a half a tank, um, I was able to get it done tonight. But it was it took some looking. I had to go to several places, and most of the like gas station stores are closing about nine o'clock. And the pumps are usually still operational, you know, at least if they have power. But, I mean, we're still on this rolling blackout thing, and there's no telling how long this is going to last. I've heard up to three and five days. I heard it might go through the weekend. So, you know, again, people are tripping out. First, one of the first things that goes is the fuel. So, keep those gas cans filled, too, you know. Uh, you may pay a little bit more. But if you need it, you need it, and you got to be able to. If you got to be able to evacuate, you know, if you have to, or help somebody out, pick somebody up, you know, um, not having fuel is just 
insane to me. Like I said, I already had a bunch of other gas cans available, but as I use them, I will go ahead and refill them. So I've got it. Just change the date on the can. You know when you got it. You know when you, you know when you ought to use it up by. So anyway, um, again, I hope everybody's doing well. Um, keep those fuel tanks full. Don't let it drop, even if you're three quarters of a tank. It's hard to pass up a gas station if it's got fuel. You know, so get in the habit. I think if you get in the habit of doing it, you won't even you won't even think about it going forward. So anyway, with that, I hope everybody's staying safe. Please like, share, and subscribe. Keep prepping. Stack it deep. And always remember, long live the Republic.